bringing the people behind our food to life. I think the chefs like the fact that they really do truly look like a tiny little radish, especially with keeping that root hair on. It really does make the plate look amazing. And so sometime in the early 1890s, folks started experimenting with different ways to grow the oysters. They realized that they grew in tide pools, and so they started making basically an artificial tide pool, and that would insulate the uh, Olympia oysters from the heat or the cold. Where we're going in terms of the farm, I would like to just continue to use the space as responsibly as possible and try to work out different ways that we can whittle away our dependency on resources being brought into the city and see how well we can work within the city to provide for ourselves.